Before we begin the following program, we would like to say that, in our opinion, it is not suitable for children or those of you who are of a Marxist or misandrist disposition. I'm Benji Nonensti, he's Nicholas Pricks, and it's time for your weekly self-congratulatory celebration of the woke audio worlds of Big Finish including your pre-selected emails with only positive comments and reviews so thin-skinned Nick doesn't get upset. And the Randomoid Selectatron will be offering you a 25% discount on some old tack from our back catalogue nobody bought when it came out. And still to come, another eight years of woke fan wank, all the way up to 2030. And yes, you've guessed it, this is not the Big Finish Jizz cast. It's the grumpy old fun. Oh, no. Oh, for God's sake. I don't like it. I know you don't. No. 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 But you can't rewrite history. Not one line. People spend all their time making nice things, and other people come along and break them. It's the end. You're the cause of this disaster. Big finish. Remember them? Back in the day, they seemed like the future of Doctor Who when the show was off the air and didn't look like it was coming back. Most of their early output was surprisingly good, back when they were relevant and worth listening to. Their first real coup was bringing Paul McGann back, giving them almost a full set of surviving TV Doctors. Apart from Tom Baker, whose ego took him off to do audios for the BBC instead. But in time with, so the story goes, some persuasion from Louise Jameson, the old narcissist who just wants to be adored was persuaded to get on board the Big Finish bus. Shame it was far too late to be reunited on audio with Liz Sladen. Thanks for that, Tom. The arrival of Tom Ego Baker is when the rock really set in. There's nothing wrong with nostalgia, But now, Big Finish only do two sorts of Doctor Who releases. Crossover fan wank and woke fan wank. Big Finish's tagline used to be Big Finish, we love stories. Which we all know means what they really love is virtue signalling to their fellow lefties. Which is why they cancelled John Barrowman and James Dreyfus. Now, for some bizarre reason, they've changed it to Big Finish for the love of stories which we all know really means for the love of wokery. And with their recent contract extension to 2030, thanks BBC, we've got another eight years of this shite to endure. Jason Hay Ellery and Nicholas Briggs, or to give him his full proper name and title, Nick Sherlock Holmes Vanity Project Briggs, along with David Richardson, are the unholy trinity at the black heart of woke big finish who shall hereafter and forevermore be known at this channel as Jizz Finish. Let's take a look at a few of their recent releases to get a flavour of the sort of shite we can look forward to between now and 2030. First up from Jizz Finish is The Annihilators, with Michael Troughton as the second Doctor. Big Finish's range of full cast Second Doctor Adventures gets a brand new start in 2022, but we'll be meeting him sooner than expected. Actor Michael Troughton takes on the role of the Second Doctor, as previously played on television by his dad. Big Finish creative director and writer of The Annihilators, Nicholas Pricks, said, I'd had in mind to have Michael Troughton play the Second Doctor for ages. So why is it taking you until now to give him the gig then? I've always been an admirer of Fraser Hines too, and I apologise to him for taking the second Doctor gig off him and giving it to Michael instead. Actor Michael Troughton said, When they phoned up out of the blue and asked, How would you feel about playing the second Doctor? I had to think about it. I said to myself, Not to try and recreate Dad's voice perfectly. Right, so we've got Tim Trelaw, who actually sounds like Pertwee, and Michael Troughton, who's not going to sound like Pat Troughton. Yeah, that's really going to be worth listening to. And then we've got the Second Doctor Adventures Beyond War Games, which sounds thrilling. 
Are you seriously trying to tell me that they're going to do season 6B? Really? Oh, God. A whole 22 Big Finish listeners recommend this, even though it's not out yet and they haven't heard it. Next, Stephen Noonan is the First Doctor. Shouldn't that be the uh, 251st Doctor, according to the timeless children bollocks. Big Finish Productions range of first Doctor adventures into the new era with a brand new actor stepping into the TARDIS for the first time in April 2022. Since 1963, the Doctor has been portrayed by many people on stage and screen, including William Hartle, who originated the role on television. Which actually sounds rather dismissive and insulting, if you ask me. Several actors have since portrayed the first Doctor, including most recently David Bradley. Yeah, what's up to him then? Has he been retired, has he? Now, character actor and former Royal Shakespeare Company member Stephen Noonan is joining their number. Stephen's performance is uncanny, going to great lengths to honour the memory of William Hartnell, uh-oh, while bringing his own interpretation. Oh, right. Director Nicholas Prick said, This is the beginning of a new era for the first Doctor with Big Finish. Stephen's performances, in my humble view, Breathtaking and beautiful, authentic yet somehow brand new, delivering deliciously Hartnell-esque belligerence, humour and charm in this box set, and offering up all sorts of exciting prospects for further adventures. It's not simply an impersonation, it's a full and rounded detailed performance that I can't wait for the listeners to be thrilled by. Yeah, well don't oversell it, Nick. One thing about Briggsy, when he fluffs an actor, he really fluffs an actor. Coming soon from Jizz Finish Productions, Doctor Who, The First Doctor Adventures, The Outlaws, starring Stephen, not the first Doctor, Noonan. And last but not least, here we fucking go, the protectors of time for International Women's Day. Why do we have an International Men's Day? Why do we only have an International Women's Day? And isn't that a bit prejudicial? Shouldn't it be International People with Vaginas Day? Not sure about that, but you could be on dodgy ground there, Jizz Finish. The 8th of March is back. Who fucking Ray? Three new audio adventures bring together a team of powerful women from the Hooniverse. Oh, so they're not just strong women now, they're powerful women. In a new box set due to be released on International Women's Day. Pass me a bucket. And doesn't this count as a as a turf release? Because all the women on it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they're all biological women. There's no trans women in this 8th of March release. Isn't that a bit exclusionist? I wonder how long it's going to be before the trans activists who celebrated stranded with Paul McGann are going to be up in arms that there isn't a trans woman on the 8th of March. Anyway, moving on. Producer Emma Biological Vagina said, I'm so pleased to be bringing back our exclusive 8th of March series for 2022, blah, 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 whilst tackling some of the big issues of today. Oh, God, that'll be climate change again, won't it? And then we get the reviews from the shill websites. This one's a fucking belter. Listen to this. The all-female writers each do the characters justice. Director Helen Goldwyn does an amazing job as always, and the entire cast are wonderful. Says Indie Mac user, who I think just came all over his keyboard. The big problem with Big Finish, quite apart from how fucking woke they are now, is that they seem to have a pathological aversion to using Doctor Soundalikes for Hartnell and Troughton, actually sound like the person they're meant to sound like. Why, I don't know. The problem started with the Companion Chronicles, with William Russell and Peter Purvis, neither of whom sound anything like Hartnell. Yes, Tim Trelaw and Jonathan Carley are pretty much spot on as Pertwee and John Hurt, but why is it so hard for Jizz Finish to find a Hartnell sound alike who actually sounds like Hartnell? Stephen Noonan, bless him, is just the latest miscasting by Nick Sherlock's Vanity Project brings. He's adequate, I suppose, but he doesn't sound much like Hartnell. Here's the question I don't understand. Why don't they use John Guilor, or Guilor, or 
however you pronounce it. If he was good enough for the BBC for the Day of the Doctor and the Planet of Giants DVD, why won't Big Finish employ him? Sound alike who actually sounds like the person he's meant to sound like. Why don't they use him? Probably because he's been Dreyfused. Never let the wrong politics and personal prejudice get in the way of giving the fans what they want, eh, Briggsy? And while we're on the subject of Harnell, what's happened to David Bradley? Now that Noonan's in, has he been retired or what? Mind you, he's even less like Harnell than bloody Richard Herndl. And as for Jacob Sodding Dudman, what's the deal with him? He sounds fuck all like, apparently, yet Jizz Finish continued to give him the gig. I wonder why. Is it because he's a pretty boy? Perhaps he's the Matthew Waterhouse of Jizz Finish, only with some actual talent for acting. Who knows? Who cares? Another bloody mystery. And here's another one. Why do they continue to use Terry Bloody Malloy, the rubbish Daffros, and not the fantastic Julian Bleach? Why? I'll tell you why. Because Nick Sherlock Holmes, Vanity Project Briggs, and the rest of them have chosen to give us the lefty, friendly Doctor Who they want, rather than the Doctor Who we want. They're as bad as the BBC, and they deserve the same fate. What is Jizz Finish's sound alike problem? I don't get it, I really don't. I mean, the whole idea behind Jizz Finish's Doctor Who output is the artistic conceit that you're listening to the soundtrack of a TV adventure they never had. They go to all the trouble of using the surviving TV cast, the version of the theme tune that was used at the time, even the incidental music is done in the style of the era in question, so why go to all the trouble of making it sound authentic? only to then undermine the entire enterprise by having someone who sounds fuck all like the Doctor playing the Doctor. And now they've got Michael Troughton in to play his dance part, which means both he and David, who did the turn as the second Doctor in the BBC Tom audios, have had a go at channeling dear old Pat, even though neither of them sound much like him. A jizz finish setting up an unbound version of the three Doctors, with Noonan as Hartnell, Michael Troughton as his dad, and Trelaw as Pertwee. Is that what they're doing? Well, if they're going to do that, then why not just go the whole hog and give us another version of The Two Doctors, with a double dose of Pertwee and a face-off between Tim Trelaw and John Coulshaw, who, while we're on the subject, never sounded fuck all like Tom Baker. That sort of stuff is all Jizz Finish can do these days. For the love of stories, my arse. Here's to eight more years of a gender-driven misandry and woke fan wank. And that's it for the latest episode of the Jizzcast. Join us again next week when our very own Nicholas Pricks will be giving Tom Baker a truckload of cash and his contractually obligated monthly rim job. Jizz finish for the love of wokery. Until the next time, resist the Marxists and stay grumpy. If you're a lefty and have been affected by any of the issues raised in this program, Fuck off!